Hi, everyone. This is Corey Kogan. I am the author of The Five Choices, The uh, Path to Extraordinary Productivity, a Wall Street Journal bestselling book. And so delighted that I was asked to share a couple of tips with you uh, here. I'm sure I've seen many of you before through Wobi. Um, so we got to get right into it. You know, it's so interesting to think about productivity and talk to people around the world around what they're doing and what they're thinking, et cetera. And um, as I always say, we are knowledge workers paid to think, innovate, create, execute. And surely none of this is about, oh, how do I manage my time as our world has been turned upside down? But it all boils down to a couple of key problems that will drive productivity in this day and age and through this crisis as well the backbone of them is how overwhelmed we are by decisions, the amount of decisions we have coming in. Today, it's even more intense as we're trying to make sense of the world, very hard to process. And so the tip really is how do I, through this and ongoing as we recover, make the highest value decisions for every single thing that's coming at me all day long? And so I'll give you a couple of areas that I think about. I've really thought a lot about the word quality and how am I accomplishing quality at this time as a leader, uh, as a family person, uh, as myself. So, you know, a quality work. So as a leader, just some, some things around high value decisions. Am I making sure that one of those decisions that I make is total and complete communication in, the, in a good way, not micromanagement, with my team members who are out there, you know, scared, not sure what's going to happen, some are furloughed, some are working at home for the first time, and am I making sure that I'm scheduling one-on-ones with them, doing a really good job with those one-on-ones, a real combination of empathy and curiosity, really wanting to learn about them, really listening and caring about what's going on. You need time for that, and you need the headspace to go, you know what, that is a decision that I need to, to make. And uh, when we talk about quality family, a lot of us are at home with our families more than we ever have before, and some of our are not. And some are being dealt with as we're working through this virus and stuff like that. But are we, unless we're forced to spend time with them or think about them, unfortunately, if something is wrong, how about those that are right? My kids, my spouse, my partner, whoever, are we making quality time, scheduling quality time for them as well? And being careful that we're not spending so much time with the family and being home that we're not putting enough attention on our work and also not putting so much attention on our work that we can't take care of our family. So all a very intentional decision-making process where you have to ask yourself, am I making the highest value decision? The last, self. We're trying to do everything right now. Our companies are in disarray. We're trying to figure out how to survive. You might be a thriving company that is serving the needs of everybody right now. You might be a pivoting company like us that is re-engaging and rethinking our systems in order to meet our customers' needs. And you might be a devastated company as well. All three of those areas require um, us working a lot and giving a lot of time and energy. And so are you taking care of yourself? You're eating right you're moving, I'm sitting now, I should be standing, uh, stress relief, and all we connecting with others, both at home and outside, really an important thing, like I said before, around connection. So with that, I hope that was helpful. A couple of tips, make the highest value decision, ask yourself that all the time, and make sure you are executing with quality as a leader, as a family person, and you're taking care of yourself. Good, best of luck to you. Stay healthy and well.